this is either a great idea or a horrible, horrible idea. Different settings, I should say, remote sensor, everything that you see, you can ground the casing. What I really like about this, and I did not know this back in 2018, back in 2010 when I first started RVing, is this here, this is super easy. This is like shore power in and then to the box. So you basically take your shore power, cut it in half, put it into here, put this to your 30 amp panel and bam, it's installed as far as the AC side, the alternating current side. You also have to install the batteries on this side here. You do that, it's dead easy. It has these lugs here, which you're gonna need some hefty cables. I picked up a, a lug there because I wanted to see how it fit, but these, these look pretty hefty, pretty solid. I like that you can enter this box this way or this way with, with this particular lug. I think if you had a smaller lug, you can go sideways. Uh, no, you can't because you can only go that way or that way. Those are the only two ways you can go, up or down. So this way or this way. Same with the negative terminal. This is actually really, really simple. More simple than I thought it was going to be. 4,000 watt inverter charger. Inverter charger, that's very important. Not to be confused with a converter and not to be confused with an inverter. This is an inverter charger, meaning it can invert DC power to AC power and it can convert AC power to DC power for charging your batteries. Now this thing is 4,000 watts. And over the years of 10 years of RVing, the big thing is don't over invert. If your battery bank is not big enough for a large inverter, you don't want a large inverter. If you don't need to power large loads, you don't want a large inverter. Now this isn't the best inverter on the market. It runs at 80 something percent efficiency. I don't quote me on that one, 84% efficiency. Somewhere in there, the Victron runs at 93%. It runs more. Basically, there are better efficient inverter chargers on the market. But we picked this up at an RV surplus store open box for half price. Now this inverter is not for everybody. Some of the technology on this is fairly old. There is no Bluetooth on this, which I really like, and I know there's people out there who like that too. The Victron 3000 watt inverter with the internal transfer switch. You can log into it in your phone. You can change software. Those are very good. This one's a little more basic. What I don't like is I can't limit the current coming in to the coach because a lot of times we plug into a 20 amp circuit at a friend's or family's house. But I have a workaround for that and it's on its way. So that was the biggest downfall with this inverter is I couldn't limit the shore power intake. There's no hybrid uh, add, there, there is no hybrid uh, system on here where it can add power to shore power. I'm not a fan of the hybrid systems, those inverters that can take 30 amps and then give your rig more power if you have a 50 amp rig per se. It's not, it won't give you 50 amps, but it'll give you more power. They're great, they're not for me. Oh, we got a wire back here. The internals of the Ames 4000 watt inverter. I wanted to open it up to make sure there was no debris in here. This was an open box unit. I don't see anything damaged. Now, I don't know enough about these to say about the quality of wire or the connections in here. What I can say is it looks like it's gonna operate and it's pretty clean. Now we've had good luck with Ames in the past. We had the Ames inverter and an Ames converter and they both worked very, very well. So I'm curious to try out this inverter charger 